privatization is a bitter pill, but it's a pill that will cure. So goes the popular saying. Greetings to one and all. Let me begin by reminding you that the basic tenet of privatization is to bring in competency and competitiveness in the present generation. As responsible citizens, we must move out of the emotional radius of popular sentiment and realize that along with the advent of private institutions in higher education comes better learning methods, innovating te innovative teaching methods, and better classroom culture and the environment for students. Rather than an altogether exclusion of private institutions from the sector of higher education in our country, which already believes in mixed economy, which believes in the presence of both the private and public sector, we must not altogether exclude private institutions. Rather, we must place e emphasis on the effectiveness of the regulatory bodies regarding, the pri uh, regarding regulating private institutions, and thus check the quality standards of private Your time institutions. Up. Educational equity means the child receives what he needs to develop in his full academic or social potential. Equity is compromised in privatization. Education sector has turned out to be a commodity. Those who has the capacity to buy it, buy it. Those who have the capacity to sell it, make profit out of it. Educational privatization of the educational sector has turned out most importantly, brownfield human capital assets, which actually is a danger to the economy as why creating eligible candidates but not creating employable candidates to the society. It is actually a big threat to the society just like the 2008 recession which has created brownfield human capitals that has destroyed the economy in a wider span. This is why, and from your code it is said that privatization is a bitter pill, those who can cure it. It is said by the most corrupted president of Zambia who has been acquitted many times and he has been thrown out of the power while he was in the presidential ship. When, so, when we speak against privatization, we are implying the denial of opportunities to a large section of people or to a large section of students, the denial of opportunities in the sense of better learning methods, vestibule training, artificial intelligence, virtual classrooms, internships, apprenticeships, all these are available in private institutions and we are denying these to students. Out to you. All these facilities are also implied by the public institutions such that the students should move out of the campus and they should fetch it by themselves, thereby creating more competency than by providing everything in a tablespoon. Out to you. When we talk about public sector institutions, let us open our eyes to the dark reality of red tapism and bureaucratic delays in, 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 with regard to public institutions. Clear. While you said about a dark reality, I would like to point out a black reality that peop, students are being killed or tortured in private institutions and I am pointing out the case of Mr. Jishnu Pranoy who has been tortured and he was finally forced to suicide in the same institution which is a private one. Clear. Unfortunate incidents happen in every institution, whether it is public or private run institutions. Our crux of today's debate is regarding the quality teaching methods or the quality of education which is being offered by private oh, institutions. Please. The people who award quality or people who create quality education students should also have a quality. Pointing out to what you said, it is important that the students or the, uh, it is very important that private institutions are mainly focused on profit. That is why the reason they inject newly uh, passing out st students as their teachers and thereby lowering their salaries and thereby providing quality less education. Clear. We are, when we talk about the, about the education standards and when we claim that education standards are not up to mark, we are actually undermining the existing regulatory bodies in this democracy. The private institutions are regulated by UGC regulations 2003. We are undermining the importance of the regulatory institutions and the Supreme Court, which has already told private institutions to check the amount of fees which is being claimed by private institutions. Out Supreme Court has already been, not just Supreme Court, but Bombay High Court also has been pointed that the fee regulating, the private institution should adhere to the fee regulating institution, but it is being important, we have to be mind that the capitation fees inducted from the students are even more than the fees they have to give in the four years. Clear. Let me remind you that the infrastructural facilities which is being provided by private institutions take any private institution is, with, is in par with the fees which is, being, which, is being, uh, um, which is being taken from the students. So the students are being uh, guaranteed better infrastructural facilities which is not there in public sector initiatives. Oh, Those cases. We, 
it should be minded that 182 engineering colleges are there, out of which many of the education institutions are not even providing basic amenities, and they are being awarded or affiliated just because of the corruption that is existing in the society. And that private, if the privatization come into more prominent picture, the quality of the students also will be deteriorated as they are not getting ample training. Clear. To take into number, we can take n number of private institutions and public institutions as well. But the crux of my argument is that private institutions have always safeguarded, in most cases have safeguarded the pride of this nation by taking India to the world map. 2014 was a remarkable year as the government of Kerala has planned to implement APJ Abdul Kalam Technological University, which actually fostered the most, most probably eligible candidates or employable candidates to the society. But now a recent circular which has been provided that it has been shown that the, the technological university has been forced by the private institution to take away the system of uh, year out for system so that the, all the students are remaining in the college. Out you. Let me remind you that private institutions have also initiatives with regard to the uh, to safeguard the needs or the, to address the benefits and welfare of the society. Today we are talking here as, pa as part of the CSR initiative of Federal Bank. So there are CSR initiatives, scholarships are being provided and there are regulatory mechanisms to check into all these factors. Thank you so much both of you.